Hey guys, Nancy here, and I'm excited to do another fancy flow with you all. Um, this sequence is a pretty dynamic sequence. We'll be moving with breath, so make sure you're warmed up, you feel supported and good. You can always modify, leave things out, add things in, and let me know how you feel um, after you practice in the comments. All right, go ahead and come to the top of the mat. Strong mountain pose here. On an inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. And as you exhale, fold down to a forward bend. And let the weight of the head go. On an inhale, rise up about halfway, reaching the heart and gaze forward. And as you exhale, we'll step that left foot to the back of the mat, coming into your runner's lunge. And you can kind of settle into this, maybe dipping the hips low and then lifting them high a couple times, just finding your place in the pose. Once you feel secure, really energize the legs, engaging them strongly. We'll come up onto the tips of the fingers and then curl the hands into fists. Take an inhale here, exhale it out. Your next inhale, hover the belly above the thigh and curl the arms in. So begin to bend at the elbows, graze the side bodies with the inner arms. Good, and then exhale, tap the arms down. Knuckles touch the earth. Inhale, reach the knuckles straight back behind you this time. Triceps really strong. And then exhale, tap the earth. This time as you inhale, unleash the hands, scoop the arms forward and up, coming high into your um, crescent lunge. Breathe in here. And then as you exhale, have to see elbows open up across the chest. Take your next inhale to lift the arms high. And on your exhale, begin to lean forward, launching into your warrior three. Take a few moments to get there. You can always release the hands to the floor or to the hips, wherever you'd like to go. And let's take one more breath here. And your next inhale, come to your one-legged mountain, drawing the left knee into the chest. Standing tall and strong on the right leg, just like it's in mountain pose still. Arms reach to the sky. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, sweep that left arm back and the right arm forward. Coming into a standing twist. Still working on engaging Padabandha in the foot. So really feel the arch activate through the right foot, but even let that left leg and foot get strong here. Let's take one more big inhale. As you exhale, we'll step that left foot back, coming into warrior two position. So adjust everything as needed. Once you're settled, on an inhale, we'll scoop the right arm up and overhead, left arm in front of the body toward the space in front of you. Good, and then on your next exhale, we'll begin to lean forward toward a side angle version, reaching that right arm down and back, left arm overhead. And we're gonna create a flow with this, moving four more times, inhaling, to reverse, exhaling to side angle. Good, three more times, just moving with breath. Finding that strong ujjayi breath. If you haven't already, a little constriction in the back of the throat helps to stabilize and support the body through these movements. After that last round, we'll all come into our reverse, but go ahead and straighten that right leg, leaning up and back. And then as you exhale, move into triangle pose. Hand can come to the shin, a block, or even the floor if that's accessible. Try to keep light in the torso and the upper body. Spinning the chest up and open. Take a couple breaths. Let's take one more here. And we'll just sweep that left arm down to meet the right. We'll bring both hands to the inside of the right foot. So heel toe that right foot over a bit. Take an inhale as you energize the legs once more. Lift the right arm up and open toward the sky, coming into a twist. You can stay here or maybe cactus the elbow of the right arm. One more breath. Your next inhale will straighten that right arm up. And as you exhale, scoop the right arm underneath you, behind the left arm toward the space at the back left corner of your mat. Inhale, sweep it back up and open to twist. 
Exhale, underneath you toward the back. Good, one more time, inhale. Exhale. Holding on to that threaded position this time. Stay here, maybe glue that right shoulder to inner right knee. Stay here, or maybe you reach that left arm forward. Take two more breaths wherever you are. Lots of stabilization through the breath. So this doesn't become too tense. And we'll release the hands down when you're ready. Spin to the long edge of the mat, bend into your left knee, coming into a high skandasana. Right hand down on an inhale, lift your left arm up and open. Stay for your exhale. One more breath here. And then we'll just place that left hand down to the other side of that left foot. Pop right knee behind the left ankle and come down to a seat. We'll take a little twist here. Right arm wraps around left knee, twisting to the left. And then from here, take both hands around to the right side and begin to pivot on the feet, coming around into a version of your wide leg fold, maybe not the widest version you've ever taken. If you want to go a little deeper, you could walk the feet further apart. On your next breath in, we'll rise up about halfway, and as you exhale, walk around to the top of the mat. Step back and you move through a vinyasa flow if you want, or skip it and just go to down dog. Child's pose is also an option. When you're down dog, take one big inhale. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, arms lift high. Palms connect, hands at the heart. Take a moment here to reconnect, find your breath. Feel the body settle into the space you created in those first movements. We'll go to the other side. On an inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, up half. As you exhale, this time we'll step that right foot to the back. Get your bearings, settle into the hips here on this side. A little lift and lower if you'd like. Once you find your position in the pose, really strengthen the legs, engage those inner thighs toward one another, and then curl the hands to fists. Take a full breath in and out. On your inhale, begin to hover the belly and draw the elbows up across the side ribs as you bend into the elbows. Good, and then exhale, tap the knuckles down. Inhale, reach the arms straight back. Triceps are engaged. And then tap. This time, inhale, unleash the hands, rise up into crescent lunge, arms reach high. As you exhale, half just the elbows opening up the heart. Take one more breath in and out. Good, inhale, arms lift. So you exhale, lean forward and begin to hop that back foot in a little bit at a time until you feel ready to launch into your version of Warrior Three. Back of that right leg is really strong here. Let's take one more breath. On your inhale, we'll begin to come to your one-legged mountain. Right knee comes up. <clears throat> Left leg is your standing leg. Once you're stable, arms go to the sky. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, begin to sweep that right arm back, left arm forward. Padabandha is engaged here. One more breath. Take an inhale to prepare. As you exhale, step right foot back, open out warrior two. Once you're set up, inhale, scoop that right arm forward, left arm back. And then exhale, reverse this, and go into your side angle variation. Good, keep going, four more rounds. Find a way that works with your breath. You never have to go faster than that. Good, 
This next round, we'll hold on to our reverse position, straightening that left leg. And then on your exhale, begin to move into your triangle, whichever variation works on this side, recognizing it might look different on this side than it did before. Taking your gaze wherever it feels best for you. Let's take a couple more breaths. Last one in. And as you exhale, bring that right hand down to the top of the mat. Heel to left foot over just a bit. Coming into your lizard here. Right hand stays down. On an inhale, sweep that left arm up and open. Enjoying the twist for a moment. You can cactus the elbow if you like. On your next inhale, lift the arm up. Level the hips out, and as you exhale, thread that left arm underneath you toward the back right corner. Inhale, lift it up and open. Exhale, thread. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Hold on to the threaded position, glue inner right knee, inner left knee rather, to that outer left shoulder. You can add on even more by reaching the right arm forward. Keep your gaze forward and see if you can loosen up any tension in the jaw. Let's take one more breath. Slowly release, spin to the long edge of the mat, bending into your right knee. Left hand goes down on an inhale, sweep the right arm up and open, coming into your high skandasana twist. Take one more breath here. And then we'll ground the twist, taking that right hand to the earth, sweep left knee behind right ankle, and come to a seat. And we'll twist around to the right. Let's take one more breath. And we'll come around all the way around to the left and then pivot on the feet coming up into your wide leg position. You can hang here for a few breaths. You can go even deeper, widening the stance if you'd like. Of course, when you're ready, if you'd like to take a vinyasa, you can transition around to the top of the mat and move through your flow. Eventually, we'll all just meet in our child's pose, tapping the knees, hips to heels. And just kind of feeling those movements settle in and through you. And then we'll rise up to a seated position of your choice, whatever that looks like. You can just sit up in a tall spine here. Hands connect at the heart, feeling those inner rhythms, heart beating, breath moving. Those rhythms representing the fact that you are here, you're alive, you're present, and that means you're very truly blessed. Namaste. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's practice. Please let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Um, I'll be back next week with another fancy flow. If you ever have requests for poses or anything like that, just let me know. Make sure you hit like and subscribe so you get notified when I upload more videos. Thanks.